do you like my horrific looking sweater? Today was the ugly sweater day at school and I decided to wear this. I was actually kind of disappointed because people kept on telling me that they liked my sweater and they thought it was cute. And that's so not what I was trying to get across. I mean, it's ugly sweater day. It was supposed to be ugly. I think it's ugly. Also, speaking of school, I was sitting in class today and a girl somehow got on the topic of my teacher's receding hairline. And, um, she said something along the lines of, Oh my god, Mr. Hollinger, I can't see behind that glare on your receding head. And this managed to spring up quite a few laughs, because if you didn't catch that, um, yeah. She said receding head instead of receding hair. And I just, it made, it gave me this weird mental image of what my teacher would look like if he had a receding head. Imagine how horrific that would look. Little chunks would leave bit by bit until, you know, it eventually just disintegrated and became this little tiny knob of nothing. What a horrible way to end your head. You know, not that many people typically, you know, end their heads. Moving on! Another weird thing that happened to me recently. So, in America, and possibly in other places too, I don't know, we have these things called fundraisers, which are basically things that you use to raise money for your school. Now, my brother had one just recently. It was a kitchen supply fundraiser, and my dad ordered some things out of that, and the order just came in a few days ago. This came. What the heck is this? What even is this? Why would you need it? It is literally a misshapen spoon with a hole through the center. What? What? Why is this good? You see this too, don't you? There's like a hole in this spoon. What is this even for? If you try to pick something up, it's just gonna fall through. How stupid. How ridiculous. Ridiculous. I don't even... I don't even want to look at that. Ooh, I hope I didn't break something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Another thing that happened in the life of Alana recently was I had about the worst morning ever. It was literally the worst morning ever. We just... I just... It was so awful. I have to walk to my bus stop a couple blocks away from my house to catch the school bus in the morning. Um, so when I was walking out there about last week sometime, um, this is such a terrible experience. I don't even know if I can relive this. <laughs> so we were having this really weird, like, hurricane weather. There was lots of wind, it was raining, it was warm, it was humid, it was foggy, it was misty, it was breezy, it was horrible. And that's really unusual weather, especially for a Maine winter, because first of all, Maine winters are cold, dry, and we don't have that much wind. So this must have been some kind of like outcropping of a tropical storm or something, you know, that had somehow washed up here in Maine. Well anyway, I was kind of unaware of what the weather was like outside, so I was just walking la 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 to my bus stop like I always do. And when I went outside, I realized how awful it was. So, once I got to my bus stop, I was just like, oh my god, oh my god, bus, you have to come soon. I can't stand this much longer. You have to come, you have to come, I'm gonna die. <laughs> but the bus didn't come, and I was really, really wet by this time, so I decided to scurry back to my house as fast as I could to grab an umbrella so my weight in the rain wouldn't be so miserable. Now, when I got to my house, and I got the umbrella, I was not thinking. Because you see, when there's wind outside, one does not typically use an umbrella, but I was just so eager to be dry that I wasn't even, my brain was not functioning properly. Now, I was walking outside and I had my umbrella with me and I was walking, I'm like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, the wind is pushing everything, the rain's coming at me still, it's not protecting me, oh my god, all my books are gonna get wet, this is awful! My umbrella turned inside out. That umbrella is broken now, and I decided to wait in the rain anyway, which sucked, and it just keeps on getting worse. Okay, so now picture this, okay? 
So basically, I was at my bus stop. I was I was like in the zone. I was in Zen mode now because I'm just like, you know what? The bus is definitely coming soon. I already had to run home once, so there must not be that much time left before the bus gets here. Okay, at this time, let's just take note of how stupid I was for not noticing that I happened to be the only one at the bus stop who was stupid enough not to get a ride considering I was alone and I usually wait with about six other people. Alana, just the, the shame. The shame. But I was really having a miserable time and I was waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. I knew the bus had to come soon. I mean, come on, the bus doesn't usually take that long. The bus never came and I don't know where it was. To this day, I do not know where that bus was. So I ended up running back home because I was just so done. I'm like, you know what, this is so stupid. I've waited in this rain, i ruined my umbrella, I'm just having a miserable time. Also, my hair was seriously suffering right now. Like, I normally straighten my hair, and my hair was just this horrible, awful mess. And whenever a girl's hair isn't looking the best it ever has looked, things aren't right. So I get home, and I run upstairs, and I knock on my stepdad's door, because he was the only one home to give me a ride, and I was like, please give me a ride, I'm so sad and wet and cold. So he got up and was a super nice guy, and he gave me a ride to school, and you know, Things pretty good from then on. So, yeah. So that whole terrible, awful, tragic, scarring experience will probably go down in the books as my worst morning ever. It was seriously the worst morning ever. Well, it's not completely true. I did get one good thing out of this. But bam, new umbrella. Looks like I'm gonna murder someone with it or something. That is not my intention. It's just a cool umbrella. I know if I open it inside, it's supposed to be bad luck, but I really want to show you. Yay! Now I'll be protected in case we have any storms on my ceiling. Yay! Oh no! The wall of stuff is destining! The wall of stuff is destined. A lot of you need to sleep. So tell me what your worst morning was. What happened? Why was it your worst? Even if it's not a morning, it doesn't have to be a morning. It can be your worst day, your worst night, your worst experience, your worst vacation, your worst anything. Anything that you think is the worst of anything. I want to know, so go and drop all of your opinions down in the comments and we can all have miserable worst days mornings, nights, experiences, whatever. Worst things ever! Yay! Also, give it a thumbs up if you liked the video, because that would be super amazing! And I want you to become an amazing subscriber today, so you should definitely subscribe if you're interested in knowing more of Alana, and that would be super great! I feel like I'm gonna whack myself in the head with this, because I'm like swinging it around. The nail polish color of the week is... Green! Whoa!